Luigi. So this workbench has been sitting here probably about two weeks since I used it last, so I expected some settling. So what I'm going to do is double check this bench, and I might have to re-shim a little bit of it. And the reason why it's important now is because when I actually put this core in the bag, I'm not going to put it in the, the uh, cradle. It's going to go in the bag and it's going to be compressed here against this workbench. And I want to make sure this glass is where it needs to be. And it looks like just by... Uh, by uh, running that edge over it looks like it could be dropping just a little bit and that was one of my uh, concerns with MDF it used to be sitting on the metal top but I put MDF between the metal and the glass so that might become a factor I think once it settles it'll be all right but uh, I'm going to double check that and and then I'm going to bag that wing up. Alright, for whatever it's worth here, I think I'm ready to get one in the bag. So this is my carbon toe I'm going to lay across the trailing edge. The first step before you actually do anything as far as the uh, sheeting goes, you've got to make sure it's uh, Packing clean. You got to get all the dust off the uh, the wood and the foam. Also, mark your uh, wood accordingly where it goes. So that way, you put the glue on the right side. So I'm mixing up 16.9 grams of resin and hardener in a cup. And hopefully you don't use all this. Now the thing is with this resin, since there's no color in it, it's hard to see, but um, this is going to be for the trailing edge. So I'm going to candle this um, wood so I can actually see what's going on. And what I like to do, just start right off at the end. And just put a nice eighth inch sew bead right down the, right down the center. And this is just a little piece of Formica. You can use plastic uh, spatulas or whatever you want. And make sure you get this stuff all the way to the edge. So there's three sides of this. There's little notches here. Wider space notch. And then over here it's just a actual straight straight edge on it so as I take this stuff and I squeegee it over the wood I'm looking to make sure that I'm getting it to the edge and you can control how far this epoxy spreads by the angle of the, your uh, spatula
And if you get areas where it's thick, just keep working that resin to where it's where it needs to be. Now I'm still using the ridges on this squeegee. Yeah, it's a little dry up here, so I'm trying to drag some of this resin up. So I want to see these shiny little streaks everywhere with this spatula. And once I'm happy that I've got a full coverage, then I'll start squeegeeing it off. Now, you can put it back in the cut, but I've got enough resin where I don't really think I need to worry about reclaiming it. So I'm going to work in, uh, it's like little eight, eight inch uh, sections here. And what I'm doing here is actually getting all this resin back off that I can. Now, there's a lot of this resin that obviously it's going down in the grain. Which is alright, I mean, that's part of it. So... I'm squeezing all this wet resin up to this point right here and if I get extra that I can't squeegee up I'll, I'll blot it off with a paper towel and what you're looking for is to get all the shininess off and you want it to look dry now um, one of the things you do is you candle it where you sight down the wood to make sure it's all uniform and that. Let's bring in our other sheeting for the other side of the leading edge. And we'll do the same thing here. So what I've done here, I've got the um, center section center section sheeting and the wingtip sheeting uh, cut out and applied right here tips and at the root now it's time for the second trip in the bag the reason why I do it in two different stages is because it's too hard to get 130 second sheeting all lined up in the full perimeter of the leading trailing edge and center section sheeting so what I do is do the leading edge trailing edge and they come back here and I piece this in and then from there I go ahead and bag it the second time different than the first. I just put the uh, little uh, breather cloth right here under the nozzle. Make sure this is evenly distributed with the least amount of wrinkles. check and make sure it's lined up right. The little pieces of tape are what hold it in place. Some people use pens but with the vacuum bag here I think I'm just going to stick with the tape. Alright, let this thing go for a day. <laughs> 